Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Predatory Exotics. On today's video, we are doing a Bugs UK unboxing. Bugs UK is one of the UK's online invertebrate retailers. Um, we've done over £100 worth of order between me, Ollie and his girlfriend. Um, I've got a load of stuff, different mantises, scorpions. Ollie's got some spiders, some mantises and his girlfriend's got some spiders. Um, obviously, it's a bit weird Ollie's not with me. Ollie has actually got co Corona, COVID, um, so basically we're going to be doing it separately. I'm going to unbox all my stuff and then probably his girlfriend's stuff just because I know a little bit about them. I wanted them as well, um, so I'll talk about them and then Ollie will join in. He'll do the rest of the unboxing and then he'll finish it off for you. So I've opened it up to start with. Um, literally only because I wanted to take all the paperwork out so we didn't have to blur anything out for you. So we can get straight into the unboxing. So we're going to do a close-up footage of us unboxing it. Obviously we've never ordered from Bugs UK before. Um, so we're going to see what it's like. We're going to probably go through all the different invertebrate online retailers eventually. And um, we're just starting off with Bugs UK. So let's get into the unboxing. So this is the box, uh, it is Royal Mail uh, guaranteed delivery next day, so whatever day you ship, um, they ship out on comes next day. Um, you can specify which day as well, that's what we did just so we knew we were here for the package. Um, and it comes uh, like signed delivery so you know it's all okay. So again I've only opened it up just to see if there's any paperwork to take it out. But let's open it up and have a look what is inside. So first off we've got all this packaging take some of this out looks like we've got some deli cups there not sure what they're going to be so this is all of my order i've got a few different species of mantis and a scorpion i've got three of one one of another and then three of another hopefully eventually we can start a little breeding project that's why i got three hopefully we get um, a combination of males and females um, and then the scorpion, just because I'm really into my scorpion, so we're going to open that one first. It's in the slightly smaller container. Um, as you know, I've got two of the Asian forest scorpions, um, which are a um, more of a humid scorpion, but I prefer my desert stuff. So I've been looking for this scorpion for a while. It's actually a June scorpion. Um, so these ones come from like the southern United States in the desert. Um, never really had a chance to get this before never seen in any shop so we had to order it off online and then it's going to be inside this tissue they can be a little aggressive this species um, as a desert species There is the June Scorpion. Awesome coloration. Got that dark orange tail and dark orange claws as well. Um, this is a medium, so they had small, medium and large. I didn't know what size each one was going to be. Um, but it looks nice and chubby and healthy already. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it molts very soon. Got awesome little Scorpion and can't wait to house that. We're going to do all the housing in a separate video. We're just going to take a look at each one we've got and then move on. So put that one back in this pot just for now. I'll put them in the bigger pot that it came in. And we'll move on to one of the single menses I got. Um, so you got this one, I think the, the Latin name is Creobrota gem, gemmatus or something. Um, but it is the jeweled flower mantis. So this one, I usually go for the more dry looking species, um, but this one is going to be hopefully quite colorful. And yeah, that one is pretty cool. It's got this white and green all over it, super awesome. Just trying to get the camera to focus on it. Got loads of different spots and colors on it. 
Um, looks really cryptic, really funky. Um, awesome little mantis. We've got all of them at L, L4, L5. Um, so it's similar to what we usually get them at from the pet stores and stuff. This one looks super cool. Um, obviously a humid species though, not something that I usually get. And very quick by the looks of things. So we will put him back in the pot. And again, I just got that as a single one just to see what it was like. Um, but we're going to move on to the ones I've got three of. And hopefully I'm going to breed these. Depending on if they are male and female. I might have to wait a couple more molts till we're sure. Um, and hopefully we get that male and female pair. So let's start off with this one that we haven't seen before. Um, I think the Latin name is something like Deroplates labata. But it is the Southeast Asian deadly mantis. So, again, this is a human species, but it looks like a dry species. Um, that's why I like this one, um, just because it looks like a dead leaf. And these ones have a pretty big crest on it when they get bigger. Oh, oh it's massive. And it's already quite big. So that is super cool. Already getting that crest on the back of it. And that, that dead leaf on its abdomen, super awesome. Look at all them spikes. Look, almost looks like an oak leaf with them edges. Um, awesome patterning. Look at that, super cool mantis. Now, trying to get in the pot might be a little bit more difficult. So we've got three of these, go on to the next one, you can hear it in the polystyrene container that one. Again super cool, nice and large as well, um, so they're going to be well established mantids. Um, that one's currently cleaning itself. Super cool, won't get that one out. Obviously you've seen, they're all gonna be very similar. Um, and then when we do the housing for them all, you obviously see them all in a little bit more detail. Just checking that they're all okay, really. Um, and, oh, that one's the biggest one out of all of them. It's got awesome shield, awesome tail on it. Um, that one is very impressive. Hopefully um, we do get the males and females. Um, and the females will be larger, so maybe this one will be a female. Or it's just marked one more time, because they are L4 or L5, so this one might be an L5 as opposed to an L4. Um, but we'll put that one back in the thing. But really impressed with them. Um, wasn't 100% unsure whether I was going to like them, um, just because they're a human mantis. But yeah, that dead leaf is super awesome. And then we're moving on to these three. Um, these three are actually one we've seen on the channel before. These are ghost mantises. Um, Ollie actually got one quite a while ago and I think it's coming to the end of its life. Um, so I've got three more. And with these they can come in different colours depending on, I think it's depending on humidity. Um, we have a brown one. Um, but we're going to open these up. Hopefully we get a different coloured one, fingers crossed. Um, but if not, we're going to hopefully breed them and then with the babies, maybe change the humidity up a little bit more, see if we can get some different colours. So I can see this one on the top, so I'm going to open this one first. So it's similar to the one we have, it's obviously this, it's got some light brown patches on it as well. Um, but it has got a lot of dark on it, and these are even these are even cooler. Look at that massive head as well. Got a super massive thing on top of its head. Um, can't remember how to distinguish between males and females. Um, obviously, you have got the abdomen count, but I think there's something to do with that that thing on the head. Um, so we'll have to look into that. But that one's super cool. 
I like the light patches on it, it's not just all dark. Um, that's a super cool one, and I'll put them back because they are very delicate. They're obviously going to be smaller than the dead leaf ones. So I'll move on to the other ones. I would have thought they're all going to be, if they're all, if one of them's brown, they're probably all going to be brown. Um, but I'll open them up and have a look. Got another one there. And it's got some light patches in the dark patches and then a massive head thing. That one is super cool as well. And then this one is the last one. This one's the smallest. And it's actually eating a fly that was in the container, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, don't they put food in for them for the, the journey, but it's literally just caught a fly inside of the pot and is eating it currently. This one's got a slightly smaller head um, head thing and the abdomen's slightly shorter, so this one might be a different sex. But we'll definitely leave that on just because it is eating. Um, and then we will unbox them all further in a separate video. But for now, I will move on to Ollie's stuff um, so he can have a look at what he's got and then he will finish off the video for you. All right, guys, so yeah, um, as you heard from Tom, I sadly do have COVID, uh, so I apologize if I sound a bit different. Of course, I'm wearing a mask around the house and um, I can get quite short breath, so I'm gonna try and do this the best I can. But yeah, sometimes, you know, these things happen, but I've got four things that have arrived in this order today. Uh, I have one spider, which we believe is in this one here. And then I've got three of a new type of mantis that we haven't actually kept here before. Um, so I'm actually going to start with the mantis because the spider is the one that I'm really looking forward to. Because, of course, we don't have any spiders here at Predator Exotics, um, which will be a cool new addition. And I'll show you which one I got. But first of all, we're going to start off with the mantis. So I have ordered three of the same mantises and it is a thistle mantis. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about this one. It is a very colourful type of mantis. Let's see. And also, as you can see, a very oh, small type of mantis. So I'll, show, I'll try and get the camera as close as possible. Try and focus it on there for you guys. Very cool colours, especially when they grow up. This is one of the reasons that I wanted to get this type of mantis. Um, we're also not sure on sex thing at this age as well. But the reason I wanted to get this type of mantis is when they grow up, they become super colourful. And I think breeding them in the future uh, will be a super cool project um, that I'm going to work on. So that is number one of the thistle mantis. I don't think they're going to look very different. Uh, they tend to look very similar. Oh, this one's on the, on the floor. I can get you a bit of a better shot that one that is number two a little bit smaller but they are in general very small um, and so you're gonna have to feed them feed them small prey items um, by the way Bugs UK I love how you've done this packaging with you know it's given them a climbable uh, side that drops down into it so they can get onto the roof very cool packaging right there so that is number two and then number three of the thistle mantis is oh a much darker one which is pretty cool. Very like a uh, darker browner patterns on it. So hopefully, if we're lucky, we've got a couple different kinds of sepsis here. Now I'm not gonna get these out because these guys can't, can be quite fast. Um, there are some mantises that are quite slow and don't move very quickly. These ones do so, especially at this, uh, <laughs> until we unbox them and actually properly put them in their houses. I'm gonna leave them in their tubs. But those are my thistle mantises. Those are the ones that I'm gonna hopefully breed if we've got three different sepsis here. Uh, which will be cool to in the future. But now we're moving on to the one that I've been uh, waiting for since we've ordered it. And it is a green bottle blue spider. Now this is the spider I've wanted. Uh, he should be, yeah, I thought so. He should be inside because it's only a small one. Um, oh. Let me push that guy back up. It's only a small one, so he should be inside. Um, and I don't know, I don't know how quick he's going to be. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this quite slow and just uh, make sure that it's all, uh, 
all okay. Yep, so he's in there. Hopefully I can get a good enough shot for you guys. As you can see, he's tiny. Probably quite, uh, quite interested in what's going on. But he's going to be super cool, especially when they grow up. This is another one that when they grow up becomes super colourful. And they have that orange and blue um, body, which looks awesome. And that's one of the reasons I got them. Another reason I got them is because they're like semi-arboreal and semi-terrestrial. So you get a mixture of both and they're quite a display tarantula. But I think for the first tarantula, that's one of the cooler ones. Like uh, it's cool to have one here. And of course we're going to be housing it in a really small home because this, it's only about this big right now. And of course they'll get to about this big uh, quite quickly, to be fair. I think it's like every couple months you're upgrading it from this size. Sorry about my shortness of breath, I do apologise. Uh, it's hard to talk for long periods of time, um, but I can't wait to rehouse these guys, which we're going to be doing in another video, like Tom said. And then, of course, we do have a couple of other things that have arrived. Uh, it's the stuff that my girlfriend's got, but we're waiting for her to uh, finish uh, work, and then she'll come back and she'll uh, um, unbox them, and we can record it and show you guys. But they are definitely some interesting varieties that she's picked up. So guys, this is the six side sand spider that we're about to unbox. Um, if you haven't heard this species before, it is quite a dangerous species. Um, they're from uh, South America, Peru, I believe, um, but they have really toxic venom. Uh, in the UK, we have a dangerous wild animals license, but because the venom isn't fully known, uh, they don't actually know the full capabilities of it. Um, in some of the cases it has been proven to be deadly or it's got like necrotic venom which uh, kills the flesh. So obviously it is pretty dangerous so that's why you can see unboxing it, trying to be as careful as possible. Um, try not to get anywhere near the spider so it can get you. Um, it's a very difficult thing to unbox as they're a captive bred from Bugs UK. Um, so I believe you'll see in a minute um, us getting it out. It is, as I say, it's very precarious. Um, and they're super quick as you can see just there um, literally they pop out and you don't want to be anywhere near it so that's why we're using the tongs for everything making sure that it's not dangerous at all um, but it is dangerous but we're not going to be near it so the risk to us is going to be very low um, keep them in these bra plus containers the smallest one I think they're about 1.3 litres um, and they can't climb vertical surfaces or the plastic so the holes on top of the lid they're not going to be able to get out of those holes which is awesome and then eventually they do end up burying themselves um, we will definitely do a feature on this species because they're super cool um, really cool I'm tempted to get them myself they are very dangerous even though you don't need that DWA um, so let's have a look as we unbox the second spider And the packaging's great for these. They're in the small little containers, a bit like the um, the one Ollie's spider came in. Um, they're great. They're nice and secure, and they come with all that packaging, so the spider's not going to get harmed, even though they are very small. Um, and then you can see here, the spider just gets flinged out, just crawls out. Um, luckily, that didn't get pinged anywhere, because you do not want this spider getting released. That is why we chose to do it outdoors as well. Um, you definitely don't want to have one of these running around your house because if it does bite you, you don't know what the venom capabilities of it are um, and you don't know if you're going to have any sort of um, reaction that could possibly be deadly. Um, they're very responsible at Bugs UK so you had to provide ID um, to prove that you were over 18 years old before you buy it and then we also did a letter knowing the capabilities of the venom but a very cool species nonetheless. Um, and something that we'll definitely do a feature on on the channel a bit later. Alright, what is up guys? Uh, I'm sitting in the garden to the outro because, you know, I don't have to wear a mask out here and it's a bit more freeing for me to talk. Because um, it's not fun. I feel awful. Uh, I go through the day, you know, like fatigued as hell. Um, but. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I can't wait to do all the housing videos for all these new inverts um, that we've been added. As you can see we've gone from having like what four or five inverts to now over 12. 
um, in one order, which was cool. And we've been planning to do this for a while. And they, and they arrived today. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed us showing uh, all the different ones and especially some of the more deadly ones that uh, my girlfriend has picked up as well. Um, if you guys want to do a little research into them, you'll find out why they're quite deadly, uh, but also why you don't need a DWA for them. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to head over to Instagram. Through isolation, of course, we're posting lots of different content on there as well, all the different photos. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, so don't forget to leave a like, comment down below uh, which one out of the new pickups is your favorite one and uh, sorry guys and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys